I would like to see at least 10 MPs, uh, 10 Lords, you know, uh, we have no Sikh MP, you know, sitting here in 2017 to have no Sikh MP, uh, you know, means that we and politicians are not doing something right because Parliament must reflect all of its people. Sikhs have been here for decades, we contribute, you know, the survey talked about Sikhs owning their own homes, they contribute to local taxes, to the GDP of this country. And actually, in a way, as a result of their success, they become quite invisible because they're not seen to be somebody that moans or asks for anything because actually they're a community that just get on with it. They're prosperous, they have aspirations for their children, many of them have, are graduates, uh, you know, they go, go on. I want Sikhs to look at how they can contribute to the bigger agenda of making sure Sikhi is here for thousands and thousands of years. So that means having uh, you know, our, our Sikh future leaders and generations give something back to their Sikhi. So become part of Godwaras, you know, get into the committees. I want to see more women in committees. I want to see more young people in committees. You know, I want to see women Pardans across the country. Um, I, I, and I want to see representation be absolutely correct. I want to see an equal amount of Sikh female women MPs, um, as I do want to see Sikh female MPs, as well as the star wearing MPs and Lords. Um, and until we get that right, you know, we only need to look at Canada. If we want to be aspirational, we only need to look at Canada in terms of the achievements that they are making around, uh, you know, their advancements in terms of um, politics. Um, I, I would like to see Jagmeet uh, Singh, who is uh, the deputy leader of the NDP party, become the Prime Minister of Canada in the future. Uh, you know, I, I, I really want to see the Sikh community contribute not only to its own community but actually shape policies for the wider community with Sikhi values. So how do we become think tanks? How do we become institutions of excellence? How do our you know, great people working for banking systems, for example, how do they help devise a policy which has got some Sikhi roots which help advancement of all people and not just the few uh, in this sort of capitalist ideology really. So that's the kind of Sikhi that I would like to see, that's the kind of future of Sikhi that I would like to see and I'd like to see more engagement and participation from our young people. And I would like that Gurbani and uh, the sacred element of our Guru Granth Sahib Ji is um, kept uh, and, and is respected for thousands, thousands of years to come.